Hey everyone, um, welcome to a video I'm making for VRChat, uh, for model creation specifically, and it will be about full body optimization on your model. I don't, I say optimization and not fixing because full body fixing itself is pretty easy. You just check that box and bam, you're done. Uh, but we won't be using that actually in this tutorial. Uh, because we're not only fixing your avatar for full for full body but we're actually optimizing it which means that you won't have to have your feet here or change your height so then your arms end up being too long so your feet can be here stuff like that and it won't be perfect all the time sometimes you can get it perfect sometimes you don't want it perfect and i'll explain that later uh but this tutorial will definitely help and this will also fix issues such as or at least partially such as when you lay down uh, your head going to your body here or just weird issues that full body gives you especially with MMD style avatars uh, so anyways um, I picked up just a basic avatar you can get um, like whatever uh, this is a pretty common one so I thought I'd start with it because most people won't be making them from scratch or at least like putting them together from parts which is what I mostly do right now and some custom stuff uh, so I thought I'd just get this base because that's not what it's about it's about full body fixing and it's about the bones of it itself so so you have a have an avatar here you're like okay I did everything I want or whatever um, fixing it does not matter we do not need the full body tracking fix so you can basically have your avatar done or if you say you want to go back and fix your avatar for full body you can also do that you can also do this with an fbx which you can't go back for like an fbx you previously exported and hit full body tracking fix and apply and hit do it like it doesn't always work very well but this process i'm showing you does work even with previously exported fbx files uh, so first thing you want to do is i can you can hit f5 and hold on a second Okay, there we go. Got so you guys can see what I'm doing. Got the uh, screencast thing here. All right, so you can hit five to go into like right here. We're in perspective. Hit five again. Go to orthographic. Hit one. Uh, you see what doing from the front well. And the first thing you're going to do to um, up, to actually do the full body fix yourself is actually go up, select the armature here, select the two tops of the leg bones, control. I right, sorry, shift E middle mouse up you can do like 0.04 it doesn't really matter the length but basically you're, you're sucking both of these extruding straight up on the um what is it the z-axis uh and making these two bones that stick straight up and what you're going to do is select each of the actual leg bones here and change the parent from hips to uh the bones you just created and these will most likely be named left leg 001 if you want to check the name right click the bone it says right here on your little side menu, you can get to by hitting N. Uh, do the same thing for your right leg. Right leg 001, and what this did was it parented the actual leg bone to these new ones you created. So if you go to pose mode and click pose position so you can move the bones, so you can see if I click this one, if I rotate that smaller bone I made on top, it now rotates the actual leg itself here, which is what you want. So. Uh, we've already, we're already halfway done with the full body fix. The only th other thing we need to do is go back to edit mode, go to the, your uh, hip bone here, scale negative one, and hit enter. So what this did is it just flipped around the hip bone for whatever reason. Full body does not like it when you have a normal hip bone. So yeah. Uh, now all I'd recommend doing is uh, going here and selecting the. Um, the Y value, which is the forward back value here, and uh, pasting that onto the hip for the top and bottom of it is what I found is actually the most useful. So um, basically you want to make sure that the, the hip is perfectly aligned with those two small bones up and down. So, they, so if you go to your side view, they line up perfectly. It's hard to see here, but you see they line up perfectly up and down. I just want to make sure you have the spine, which is the middle bone here. Also, the, the head of it, which is the larger side, just kind of lines up. I found it works well if you line it up with the hip. So there you go. So that's what it should look like. 
That's what I always do, and this works well for me. So there you go. All right. Now, that was the first part. So now that is the full body fake. So you go into full body right now after you export this, and it will work well. Just make sure you parent the leg bones in Unity to the, your new ones you made here and not the actual leg bones here. You want to make sure it's on these assigned to use these in Unity. Uh, and that will give you your full body. However, this does not fix the issues we are having, which is uh, the legs and the arms maybe not being too long or short or whatever. So usually the legs are always long. You can tell here, the legs are really freaking long. So <laughs> what you can do is uh, you can scale the leg here. So if it hits S for scale and then um, was it Z? I can actually scale up on the axis and I can shrink it down to whatever I want. So like say like it would be like there maybe. So you can see here that when I go under, uh, the leg itself looks okay. Um, chill SL helps with shading. You can see that it doesn't look like it's scrunched up or anything here. It looks looks good enough. Uh, sorry, it's not censoring here right now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that, so that's fine. And this actually avatar worked out well. Some of the weight painting is not good. So I'll show you how to um, if I get the uh, this back here. And I scale this back down to its original one. There's another way you can do it that also helps with uh, that little scrunching issue up here on the weight paint. Because when you scale it, it uses the weight paint values. And if they're not like really nice up here, you'll get that weird scrunching effect. Uh, so another way you can do it if you do get that scrunching effect, which I do get a lot of times, is you select the mesh here. Make sure you have it all selected. You can select it all. Select around the boots area here, and go to your um, proportional editing, which is right down here. This little circle. Click on connected, uh, or actually, no, no, no. You you can do projected. Um, projected will go through the entire mesh, even if like they're not connected. So let's say if I this, do this piece, anything in that circle is still going to move. Well, if I do connected. Only the pieces around that are connected to the actual vertices will move. So you see here, like, oh, the the, the heel wasn't connected to the shoe, so it's not going to move. Uh, you can fix that issue by removing doubles, uh, but in this case, we don't need to worry about it. So we're just going to go to projected, and we're going to go up right about to where like, the top of the leg is. And you can, I would normally hide the vertices or just select like the leg mesh, but it's not a huge issue right now. Basically what we're going to do is use proportional editing and we are going to actually manually do something like this. You want to, I, I don't usually have a scale I go off of for the full body. I um like how it looks. I just kind of do it myself. See, so yeah, okay, like that looks fine. But one thing, like you'll call chubby now. And we're, we're going to deal with that in a minute here. So say like, all right, I want to, I want to keep it there. Uh, that looks, that looks uh, uh, actually a little short. We're gonna bring that, <laughs> we're gonna bring that down, right there. Say that, say like that looks good. Uh, oh crap, I'm chubby now. What am I gonna do? Uh, well, first we're going to uh, fix the positioning of the bones now, since you drag the leg mesh up, so we can select the uh, the leg bones here, both of them. Just move those up to where they should be right about here and same thing for the bottom right about here and uh, there you go so now the issue is again the legs chubby we don't we don't want that uh, also the knees here are kind of discombobulated uh, we're gonna we're gonna go fix that anyways here we're just uh, gonna we're just gonna you know, strain out the knees, just strain them out a little bit. There we go, something like that. Just make the knees look a little less jagged. Uh, and actually, to be honest, the legs don't look terrible. 
uh, on this model specifically. We also didn't do the uh, the scaling, which I think may make it worse instead of just dragging it up. But uh, anyway, so now we have this all set up. What you can do is make sure you're in object mode, select this all and drag it back down to about the center here, maybe a little bit above. Then you hit Control Shift Alt and C. And then you can see you have your all your uh, settings here. And actually, before we do that, set our 3D cursor right here to zero, zero, zero. That's just the little dot here that stays in the same area in our 3D view. And we're set to zero, zero, zero. So now we do Control Shift Alt uh, C. We can set origin to 3D cursor, and we basically we set the reset the origin. So now it knows that this is the bottom of our avatar, and not down more, which is where it was at. So now you see, okay, well it looks it looks okay. You know, we have it's kind of chubby. If you think it's chubby, you don't you don't you're not into that. That's it's cool. I do that a lot myself. What I, we're gonna do is hit scale on our one bone here and do like Y, and we're gonna do like 0.9, and then we're gonna do scale X, 0.9. Do the same thing here, scale X, 0.9, scale Y, 0.9. Now what this did was. Um, so you see this is before and this is after. I scaled in the the horizontal and like front back vertical. I don't know. Basically we squished in the sides without squishing up and down uh, to make the legs look thinner how they were. Uh, you might get the issue of well like the the gap here is is kind of it's kind of big. Uh, you can also fix that with the proportional editing or you can just like Scoot them in slightly, you know, like who, 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 who's going to notice, uh, but things like that. So there you go. And once you, whenever you make a change like this and you scale or transform the bones in pose mode, cats has a really helpful tool. And I love this tool so much. I use it even outside of VR chat, like modeling stuff for my other projects. It applies rest pose and you just hit that. And it's like, Oh, okay. You want this as your default mesh type and bam, there you go. Now it, your bones will stay like that even if you switch modes. It's beautiful. So this is oftentimes where I stop, but something recently I've found out that's good to check is your arms. So if you go back to pose mode, pose position on the side here, drag your arm down and see where it's at. It should be about halfway down your thigh here. This avatar looks good, um, which is where it should be, like right around there. The same thing with this one over here. Bam, look at that. The arms are good to go. That looks good to me. Uh, if you want, you can scale in and out <laughs> the um, the torso here. If you want to scale something in the middle and you want the rest of the bones to be affected, select the one after it, go to the little bone thing here and do an inherit scale. Uh, and then It'll actually just scale in that part of the avatar. So you can just scale Y, or sorry, Z. You can scale the torso down if you want the torso to be a little shorter, which I think, do you think? I don't think we need that. Uh, so what you can do is you can do Alt, um, sorry. You can do W and then clear user transforms and just resets the um, made changes that you made here. And uh, yeah, I think this is about it. It's not too much work. Uh, you just kind of know what you got to do. Um, some other changes we can do here is make sure the bones are lined up. Uh, these look a little off for what I like. I'd rather have it lined up straight than be straight with the leg. Uh, that doesn't matter as much. Here you can see um, that oh no, it looks, it looks okay. Um, sometimes uh, MMDs will have their legs down or up more um like the the center of where they rotate from and that is also an issue uh that's kind of just another thing to keep in in mind uh i like to just straighten out these here and pull these in to about where the neck stops right here you can see there we go uh, and that's pretty much it. If you're having issues with, with rotations or like the bones um, not like rotating, like the IK not working properly, it might be because of the uh, angles on your bones. So what you can do is, it's like say your arm's not like bending the same way it should all the time. 
uh, grab the joint and just drag it back to make sure you have like a defined curve or like angle there. That basically lets the IK uh, for VR chat know that okay, you do want the leg to move in or the arm to move that that way, you know, not the other way around. But I think that is it for the blender portion. Uh, I'll hop over to Unity and I'll I'll show you just how I set up the avatars quick and uh, we can get going. Okay, so say you get your avatar in and you're like, yeah, I did it. I did a thing. I got it for full body and it looks good. Like, you know, you're all, you're all happy. All right, so what do you want to do? Humanoid. Set your avatar to humanoid. Of course, we all know this. But when we go into our configure menu, because you should always check your configure menu, by the way, very important. Uh, ignore that. That's an that's an error. I'll fix later. Um, right here on the side, see how I have left leg and right leg 001 selected, and I assign those to the upper leg. You'll want to do that because it will by default select right leg as your right leg, which you do not want. You want this 001 part because you want that part to rotate and that to take control of your leg. So once you do that, that should be only two things you can do. You can check other things, of course, to make sure your avatar is okay with the rigging. And then whenever you get it done and you want to upload your avatar, uh, you'll get this issue here, which is uh, lower leg is not first child of upper leg. And this basically means that it's like, hey, like your your thigh and your shin are not connected directly. What's up with that? Is there an error? And you're like, nah, fam, it's fine. I got this. Chill out. It's cool. And you're like, all right. But yeah, so that's that is what you want to make sure that will. That that that's basically the issue there. So you you you're okay. You can ignore that warning. It's just a warning, not an error. So you'll be fine. Um, and yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. This was kind of put together all at once. Uh, I had a few people who wanted me to do this at least, so I just wanted to get it out there. I, I, I didn't set this up. I didn't prepare for this at all, so I'm sorry if I'm not clear on some things or if it just doesn't make sense if I got something. I got. I know I got all the necessary parts you need, and I would like to come up with a full video step-by-step step, actually like going through and making sure you guys know everything. So look out for that in the future and look out for some other videos. If you have one you want me to do specifically on a topic, I'm more than happy to try it out. Um, I just don't never know what to make videos on, so I end up not making any. So anyways, I really wish you guys good luck. Uh, check out my world and um, try to meet up with me on VRChat if you want. Uh, Cascadian uh, avatars and whatever. Uh, some of those have the same full body fix as I showed you here. The newer ones especially are very good. Uh, so if you want some references, you can go check those out. And yeah, join my server, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.